we wait for the referee and his officials. The referee has a quick glance at his watch, resets that, always handy. Points the spot and we're away. Fylde get us underway. Hereford versus Fylde, National League North action. And it's going to be a capacity crowd for a Tuesday night in the grand scheme of things. With it's going to be Horton who's going to stand over it alongside Tom Walker. Looks like Horton to take. Horton up and over the wall. Hits and it comes straight off the post by the looks. Davis is allowed to bring it up all the way to the halfway line and some more as he feeds it out towards that left hand side where uh, Tom Walker will come in and then Horton hits one from distance and it's just past the post well he's by quite a bit they leave out towards Owen Penley Penley kicks long in towards the channel Story in behind Story oh, nearly got the luck of the bounce then as uh, goalkeeper Chris Neal came out for it Looks for Pinchard, but it's snuffed out. Barnett loses the uh, header from the clearance. Holmes slides in to try and win it back, and Fylde can come away with it. Barnett will put a bit of pressure on. Barnett wins the ball, and that's got to be a penalty a from absolutely off. nothing. It's got to be. Defender Harry Davis toiled on the ball, and Barnett managed to just get a boot in where it really and mattered it's a red inside card. the penalty it's area. A red, is it? no, it's no, going to no, be a yellow. yellow. There's no and attempt to play the ball there. And Barnett just managed to get his boot in towards Ooh. Harry, uh, in on Harry Davis, got the ball. Barnett's yet to miss a penalty in a Hereford shirt. Barnett steps up and scores! And against the runner play, you would have to say, Tyrone Barnett has put the balls ahead. Beats Chris Neal, the ever-experienced goalkeeper. Sends him diving the wrong way, puts it low down to the left hand side of the goal as we look. And Tyrone Barnett puts Hereford 1 0 to the good against AFC Fylde. Uh, I think we've said it a number of times when Leicester City won the Premier League a few years ago. As a shot comes in from distance, and it's just past Daly's post. On average possession away from home was 27%, and they won the Premier League on that. The defending by Pinchard forced him back in front of uh, manager Josh Gailey. He's been very vocal so far this evening. He's really not happy with something. I think it's to do with the way Hereford are pressing and kind of their actual shape tonight as De Aleve comes across. Floated delivery, doesn't get past the first man, which is Amadi Holloway. Admittedly, quite a big first man to get past, but doesn't nonetheless. Horton's second time delivery. Again, cleared away, only as far as Western. Holmes battles away out towards Phyllis Kirk who's on the edge of the box he's got time to turn back out towards Horton Horton will have a third chance at crossing it in but De Aleve comes and gathers well doesn't drop it as Pinchard comes away with it crossed in and it just doesn't quite reach Barnett and then Barnett slides in to try and win it back he did win it back but a foul player was able to clear as uh, fouled neatly play it through the referee's legs and spread it out towards the right hand side going to be crossed in and then it's flicked on by the striker but it's, uh, Haynes is able to get hold of it and then plays it back across to Story. Story's ball forward is snuffed out and Fylde come away with it instead. Fylde in towards the penalty area they come. Pull it back for, Phil, uh, for Houghton to think about the shot then Whitehead. Whitehead on the edge of the box. Will shoot this time it's deflected and it's in. Took a deflection off Orin Penley. A wicked deflection. I don't think he needed to make the deflection as it was going out of play. And it goes into the back of the net, off the underside of the bar, and it left Dale Eve with no chance. Hereford have benefited for it two or three times now. Amadi out towards that left-hand side. Jack Evans waits. Jack Evans ball in towards the box. Might fall for Barnett inside the box. Barnett shoots, and it's a fantastic save. Well, if truth be told, actually, he possibly just hit it straight at the goalkeeper, but he's saved with his feet. Has to drop very deep to receive the ball. Of course, on a yellow card, but still the top goal scorer goes past KTS far too easily. Works his way into the box and just shoots just past the far post to De Aleve. Jack Evans will try and get hold of it, just on the edge of the penalty area. Turns one way, turns back the other, tries to cross it in. It's well blocked. He's got his back to the defender and back to goal now. Falls for KTS out and that's from the far hand side. It's floated in. Story 
Barnett, I think, hit the head of Story, and Story hit the head of Barnett, and it ricocheted towards the goal, but just never quite had the power. Whitmore and got enough on it to stop it heading for goal. It was a clean contact by Story as Jack Evans tussles away that out on that left hand side. Oh, that's and another then, book in. And it's going to be a booking here as he wins away. a free kick and then the ball was kicked away. And it's a red card. It's a red card. Second booking. Second booking. Connor Barrett, isn't it? It's got to be Barrett. It's got to be Connor Barrett, the right back, out on that right hand side. He kicked the ball away in frustration. Back to Evans. Evans should have thought about crossing it in but instead tries to work an angle with Jethro then out towards Story who finds himself on the left hand side of the pitch this time Story running in towards the box floats a ball in towards the edge of the area where Pinchard waits Pinchard takes a touch but it's just too heavy possibly could have thought about hitting it on the volley the first time Haynes will try and retreat Hodgkiss out on his right hand side floats it in towards uh, KTS and KTS scores Oh no, it's Penley! It's Penley, I do apologise. In a good all the confusion, it's a great header by great, Orin Penley. It's a great, it's who, a great cross as well by Jared Hodgkiss. Hodgkiss Jared yeah. Hodgkiss, who flicked it in. He was only just in front of Jared Hodgkiss out on the. Uh, he, Jared Hodgkiss was only just in front of his manager, this man. Josh Gowling, on this right hand side, and he flicked a delicious ball into the box. <laughs> and. This there man, was, Penley, Penley, is becoming a legend in. already, isn't he? <laughs> For his goal scoring, not just defending. <laughs> well, his defending's been top yeah. notch as well. He's our long range reporter, I think, on that one. As uh, Conlon gets out towards this left hand side. Tries to work it, floated in towards the back post. With the names on the bench. It's going to be a drilled, call, a drilled free kick in. In towards Story. Story couldn't quite get there. Falls for James Caton inside the box. Back to goal. Back out towards Pinchard. Pinchard to Caton. Caton on the edge of the area. Thinks about the shot. Does shoot. It's in towards the near post. A comfortable height for the goalkeeper. But the shot was definitely, I think, the right idea. It opened up for Caton. 